peace and welcome to another edition of Shoot and Plank. Today we're going to be doing some more knife throwing and this is kind of generated from one of the shorts that I did because some people asked me just exactly how I did what I did. I took these three what they call black swords and threw them at one time doing my whippet style no spin. Well if you hold these wrong you won't get them in there that's for sure. Uh, and we're going to be throwing one, two, three, four, five different types. And this is a special one that I'm going to have to show you because of the handles. The handles are the probably the major trick to this. You can see that if you put those together, it makes it like one thick handled knife. And that's what you have to keep it as. In other words, line them up perfectly, just like that. Then grip them. Grip them tight. Don't do it loosely. If you do it loosely, you might stick to possible one, possible none, because they will glance off wrong. So anyway, that's what you have to do. You have to get a hold of that, grip it tight, and I'll show you with all of these how we'll do. We'll take you down to the target, and then we're going to start throwing. And towards the end of this video, I'm going to try to take all 15 of these knives and throw them in five throws and get them all stuck in there and uh, we'll, we'll see what happens anyway let's go down and i'm going to show you how you're going to throw them like this and how you're going to whip it with three knives at a time so let's go okay we've got you down here by the target you can see i'm lining these up just like i did with the black swords and here we go with this one there as you can see they hit pretty much in the center good shot okay now we're going to go with the black swords and this the nice thing about this is this has got kind of a lineup area for you but you want to make sure they're all lined up as i said and grip them tight if they slip if you feel them slip in your hand don't throw it if you do you'll probably stick two you won't stick all three there now all three went in as you can see probably gonna have to move some of those because i still got some more coming here Okay, this time we're going to go with some Lafouque storks, and this is the regular storks. So they're a different design, but if you're going to do this, I would tell you to do it this way, with this on the bottom like that. Again, grip them real tight, and these will slip even quicker than the others. We'll go with another Lafouque stork, the Magnums. Now you're talking about a lot bigger knife, a lot heavier. And again, and these make it harder to grip. Sometimes you'll have to use both hands, but most of the time you try it this way. Just like that. Now here, I save these to last because these are a different knife that'll stick real good like that by themselves. But if you're gonna group them together, I'll show you why they're a problem. Look at the handles. The handles are thicker, the knives are wide apart. Very, very hard to make it into one knife. But you can try, and we'll see if we can do it. I would say, if I'm lucky, I'm going to stick two, because it's slipping all the time because of those handles. Yeah, I got them all. Okay, I gripped them tight enough, and they all went in. So, you can do it with those. But, and they went in deep. But anyway, that's what we got. I just kicked a bunch of knives. But I wanted to show you how I did that because people ask, well, how on earth did you grip that to do it that way? Because I guess they had tried it and it didn't quite make it. So I'm going to pick all these up and just hang on. Okay, just for the heck of it, I picked all those knives up because we're going to try to get all 15 of these stuck into that target. And again, this is going to be the toughest ones. As you can see, they just don't want to line up quite right. And uh, get them gripped tight, as I said, and we'll see how it works. all 15. Well, as you've seen, that is how you throw it, whip it style, three knives at one time, but just remember to get them lined up good and grip them like a vice, and 
you might be able to put 15 like that in there too. So anyway, until next time, shoot safe, throw safe, and have a great day of blinking.